What is up everybody, Josh here again, and today we're going to be showing you where to find all three of the new vegetables in Valheim's Ashlands. Let's get into it, shall we? Of course, all three of the brand new vegetables are found in the Ashlands. The easiest one to find, which we'll go over first, is going to be the smoke puff. It can be spawned just pretty much around everywhere. And all you gotta do is go up to it and click E. You can find them around structures quite often. And of course, just out in the wild like this. It is probably one of the most common foods out here in the Ashlands. And you can find them around structures such as this right here as well. The next thing we're gonna show you is these little berries right here. You find them around these structures, the fiddlehead berry. You get about three per pick. You can find them out in the wild like this as well, but they usually grow in groups. So if you find one, you usually will find you one or two more. But one of the best places is to go around any of these structures like this, and you can pick them like so. They also are not grown in Valheim. Mostly just check around these ruins. So those are the two non-rare veggies that you can find in Valheim and make recipes with. Third one's a little more trickier. The third and final, and if you wouldn't even call it a more rare berry or fruit to find in Valheim Ashlands, is going to be this, and this is the vine berries. And the vine berry clusters are a little bit harder to find, but they are found on the side of structures that look similar to this right here. They could be on the shorelines or be in the middle of the biome, just kind of depending on your spawns and how your map was generated. But you can see we have some right there. And there's some right here as well some all the way up top if they're a little too high you might have to build up to get to them otherwise you can usually just kind of jump from the bottom and pick some vine berries and it unlocks a bunch of different meads and all kinds of good stuff these also are the only crop in ashlands that can be grown so we'll show you how to do that also just quick note you can get vine berry seeds from these as well whenever you gather them and they usually gather in about clusters of three it looks like you're looking for that red vine. And if you see that red vine growing on the side of a building like that, it's a possibility that you may see some of those vine berries. And you can see sometimes they grow in huge batches too, so you can get you quite a few vine berries as well. But you're looking on those red vines, you'll see them most of the time. And you'll see the berries just sitting on the side of them like that. And there's some seeds as well we just got. So let's go over a little bit about the vines and vine berries and the seeds and stuff like that. So the seeds are really hard to get. Sometimes you only get seeds whenever you gather a vine berry cluster. There's a possibility for you to get seeds. And that goes for grown and wild plants as well. So we're going to show you a way for us to plant these seeds and plant them the most efficient and spread apart way. They do need lots of room to grow and they also need something to grow on so that's why we have these walls here. If you were to plant one of these seeds they are called ash vine and if you were to plant one not near a structure eventually it will pop off and say that it needs something to climb and this is what it says it says needs nearby wall and it just make you a wall you don't have to make the fancy walls we've kind of made fancy looking walls right here and you really don't have to make them any more than three tall it does seem like they keep growing taller than three they go all the way up to four and anything more than four you probably should make because you can usually jump and get the ones on the fourth row like this whenever they get that high but you you can't really you'd have to devise something to get up taller if you grow taller they do not have to be planted in the ashlands so they can actually be planted in the ashlands and they can be planted in other biomes as well except for the snow biomes we have some here that you can't hardly see in this marble but they're planted right here and you can see we have them growing here in the forest biome and this is at our main base where we grow all our other vegetables and whatnot and see, we were able to pick those. We didn't get those seeds that time, but there is a possibility. See that one, we got three seeds. There is a possibility when you harvest them to get seeds. And of course, then you can go ahead and plant them again. Now, the beautiful thing about the vines is that you do not actually have to replant them constantly. You just gotta plant them once and then they grow and then they pretty much grow forever. And then you just pick off the vine berry clusters off of them, getting more additional seeds. You could keep a decent farm it might take you a little while to get you enough seeds to get you a decent farm of vine berry clusters going but eventually you will get one and get enough seeds for your your farm we're going to go ahead and show you how we place our vine berry seeds one of my favorite ways of doing this is placing some stone blocks in front of the boards that you're going to grow on 
or wall or whatever you're growing on that we're growing on this latest and these nice new walls that they added to the game we're going to leave a little bit of space here but we're going to put it on the edge of this one and go all the way across then what we're going to do is we're going to take our cultivator here and we got some seeds and we're going to place them kind of in between you don't want to have it too close to the wall if it's too close to the wall it probably won't bond but you're going to want it kind of in the cracks you're going to skip a crack and then you're going to place you a, another vine, skip one, place you a, another vine, skip one, place you a, another vine. Then what we're going to do is we're going to destroy all the stone foundations we just placed. So they'll grow up the wall and not them. And now after several days, we now have vines that are growing up there. And it looks like they pretty much grew into all the places. So you could just spread them out if you wanted to just on the walls. You can also do that as well. We did end up actually placing another one here on the end too, just to kind of feel it all in. I would just do this very slowly and do them one plant at a time, let them grow up and then plant one kind of next to them. We don't want to waste the seeds since they're kind of harder to get. But of course, once you got a decent sized farm going, you should be able to get plenty of seeds. You don't have to replant them every single time, so you don't actually need seeds every single time. Just whenever you're going to plant new plants. Also, you can destroy them. If you destroy them like this, you can also destroy them by destroying the building that they're on. So if you destroy the building piece that they're on, you will destroy the bonds as well. Like so. And that's the long and short of it. You can pretty much grow them wherever you want to, except for the snow biome and make them grow up a side of a wall or something and get you those new, nice new buff foods and stuff. And that's it for this video. Don't forget if you like what you see to like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. Subscribing will get you more Ashlands content just like this one. We have some more videos planned here shortly and hopefully we'll see you next time. Peace.